Buckle up, because we're about to dive deep into the weird and wonderful world of atomic physics. Here's a mind-bending question. If atoms, the building blocks of everything around us, are 99.99% empty space, then why does everything feel and look solid? It sounds like something straight out of science fiction, right? Let's break it down. To understand this, we need to first peek inside an atom. Picture an atom as a tiny solar system. At its center is the nucleus, made up of protons and neutrons. Orbiting far away, relatively speaking, are the electrons. So far away that most of the atom is actually empty space. If you could magnify a single atom to the size of a stadium, the nucleus would be a tiny marble at the center, while the electrons would be buzzing around the outer edges. Everything in between? Almost entirely empty. But here's where things get really interesting. If atoms are mostly empty space, why can't we just pass our hands through a solid wall or sink right through the floor? Why do objects feel solid? The answer lies in the mysterious world of quantum mechanics and something known as electromagnetic forces. You see, while atoms are mostly empty space, the electrons that orbit the nucleus are not just sitting there idly. They're moving incredibly fast. So fast that they create what can be thought of as an electron cloud. Think of it like a high-speed fan blade. When it's spinning quickly, the blades appear as a solid disk, even though most of that space is still empty. In a similar way, the rapid movement of electrons creates the illusion of solidity. But there's more to the story. When you touch an object like a table, what's really happening on a microscopic level is that the electrons in your hand are repelling the electrons in the table. Electrons are negatively charged, and like charges repel each other, just like how the same poles of magnets push away from one another. So, when you push against a wall, it feels solid because the electrons in your hand and the electrons in the wall are forcefully pushing against each other. That repulsion is what gives objects their solidity. Here's another fascinating fact. The solidity of everyday objects isn't just a result of electrons repelling each other. It also has to do with something called the Pauli Exclusion Principle. This principle, discovered by physicist Wolfgang Pauli, states that no two electrons can occupy the same quantum state at the same time. In simple terms, this rule keeps electrons from crowding into the same space. This no-sharing policy helps create the structure and stability that makes solid objects, well, solid. So, in a sense, when you touch something solid, you're really interacting with the forces between atoms and their rapidly moving electrons, not the empty space within them. It's mind-blowing to realize that what feels solid and real to us is actually a carefully balanced dance of invisible forces at the atomic level. The universe may be mostly empty space, but thanks to these fundamental principles of physics, our everyday world is solid and tangible. Before we wrap up, here's a fun thought experiment. If you could remove all the empty space from the atoms in your body, you would shrink down to the size of a grain of sand. Yet despite being mostly empty space, you and everything around you appear perfectly solid. That's the strange beauty of quantum physics at work. What do you think? Does the idea that you're made of mostly empty space change how you see the world? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want more mind-bending explorations of the universe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You're watching the universe where we dive deep into the mysteries of space, time, and everything in between.